So, I took the uh, FAB365 Robot S, S stands for Smoking Robot, and this is the, the way the model normally looks, which is pretty cool. They have this switch that moves and the doors on the sides. I can't do it with one hand, but they open quite easily and they snap shut. Pretty cool model, head turns, and sort of like I did with the Robbie back there. Remember Robbie? I uh, wanted to motorize one. In this case, I also wanted to add a lid eye and uh, the top of the dome lit. So I first started by scaling. This model is actually 25% larger than, than the stock STL file, so I printed it up 125%. So the first thing I did was make the new legs so that I could run the push rods in it so the legs would be uh, fastened on solidly and of course kept the moving dial. But um, the one thing I forgot about when I was doing my legs is I made the feet like the actual smoking robot and of course they print upside down and that's an overhang. So it ended up being kind of ugly, although I was amazed that it printed because there's no supports or anything involved. So I went ahead and added the, the draft, the rounded edges like they do on all the 365 robots so it would print right. And uh, originally I was thinking about using the same um, motor, vertical motor setup. So I had hollowed out the inside of the head and made it solid so that the motor would have some place to go. But I then decided, well maybe, because I know you can get the motor at a right angle also. So I went ahead and, and got the motor at a right angle. So basically the entire motor will fit within the body. It would have been a little bit better if I'd gone with a 30% increase inside because it gave me a little bit more width for the uh, wiring to the edge of the motor because they're right up against the side of the body right now. But it's all in there. A couple of LEDs for lights and an LED up in the head. The head is hollowed out because, like I said originally, I thought the motor was going to go there, but that just gave me more room to get in there and solder and, and put the wires in there. The other thing uh, is the motors are sold in, in different speeds. Um, they've got a 120 to 1 ratio and a 180 to 1 ratio. And this is the 120 to 1 ratio, so it's, it's a little bit fast, a little bit quirky. It actually runs quite good on just 1.5 volts. But then in order to light my LEDs, I would have had to put a little step up inverter in there, which I could do. But I also didn't have a, a junk controller sitting around that was a single battery. I just had some more of these dollar store ones. So it turned out pretty cool. And you can make it walk backwards with this one. Get them around here. And of course, everything was still, uh, still adjustable and still movable and turned out quite well between the two guys. Uh, haven't ever haven't heard anything from Fab uh, 365 about sharing the files. Unfortunately, if I ever do hear anything from about them, then I will go ahead and post the files on Thingiverse. So anyone that wants to make one can. But since it's a modification of their files, it wouldn't be right for me to share them without their permission. And backwards on the run. Come on, Ryan, come forward. Ooh. Walk them both backwards. There we are. Goodbye. See you later.